time of month again. We got chapter 12 of Dragon Ball Super out. And I have to say, it was pretty damn good. We got three fights in. So I'll go with the first one. We got Vegeta versus Kappa. Finally, we got to see Super go Super Saiyan Blue. And have Vegeta trick Kappa into going Super Saiyan for the first time. Just to leave him as a stronger, better fighter. Just shows how much Vegeta's changed since his... You know, first introduction, way, way back. So, that's nice to see. But aside from Vegeta's fight with Kaba, we also saw Vegeta get the living crap beaten out of him by it. Only for, you know, the Time Patrol to reveal that he's using Time Skip. A technique where he just stops time for like a tenth of a second. Which is pretty damn amazing. But, like they said, it would only really work for people who can move so fast. And as we all know, Dragon Ball characters are very capable of that. So, a little tough. I want to see how Goku manages to knock this one out of the park. So, hopefully Goku wins this one. It's a little weird. I mean, this kind of powers... Actually, not just the power, but it seems like Time itself has been a reoccurring thing since Jocko has been, you know, merged with the series. For example, I mean, because the uh, Frieza arc was skipped in the manga, some people who didn't really watch the anime didn't know this. But I'm sure most of you watched the Resurrection of F movie anyway. And it was, you know, referenced. But Whis also has time control powers, which Jocko overlooked for the greater good. But even without that, it's still a little concerning the fact that, you know, those abilities are just all over the friggin' place. So, I want to see who else may or may not have time control powers, and how their interactions with, you know, the team will go. But aside from that, there's not much else for this chapter. It's a really good and straightforward chapter. I love this one. Can't wait to see what we get next month, which is probably going to, I mean, actually, you know, I already know. So do you, some of you manga onlys know? Mm, it depends on if you've not been living under a rock. I mean, heck, I, cons I consider myself living under a rock sometimes, and I still know what's happening. Although I've kind of kept out of the loop for the arc that just started the anime, so. Not too far ahead. So. Hope you guys like this video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, going for 50 by the end of the month, if possible, so hope I see you guys soon.